Hi boys and girls, this is Mrs. DeGrazia. I'm going to start us on our new math unit, Mass and Weight, and we're going to look at different things and different pictures to understand the different masses and weights that we're going to show. I first wanted to start with how do we look at different attributes or different characteristics of objects. One way we can do that is looking at length. So looking at different lengths of um, objects can be one attribute of a way to describe an object. Also, when two objects of different masses, but they have similar shapes. So for example, down below, I have a picture of two eggs. They have the same shape. However, there are two different things about the masses. One is a plastic egg and one is just a regular egg. So if I was to pick each one up at a time, what do you think you would notice? Yeah, the plastic egg would be lighter than the regular egg. And if you push them one at a time, what do you think will happen? Well, the plastic egg would be lighter, so when I put force to it, it would go further than the regular egg. So this leads me to another attribute of an object is how hard is it to move that object? So let's imagine an adult and a child sitting on a swing. Which one would you guess is harder to push? So if you guess the adult would be harder to push, you're right. And the reason for this is a heavier object is harder to move because it has more mass. We can also look at a seesaw. This is another example of a way to compare masses. So though both people, both of the people have to be sitting the same distance away from the fulcrum. The fulcrum is in the center of the seesaw. So this person sitting this distance from the fulcrum and the other person is the same distance the other direction of the fulcrum. And we can see this person has a greater mass. Let's look at some pictures from our textbook when comparing masses. You can see on this balance scale right here, the arrow is pointing right to the center here. And we did this a lot with our science unit. We talked just about the net zero force. So here we can see the watermelon is as heavy as the dictionary. Here, we can see that the arrow is pointing this way. So you can either say the loaf of bread is lighter than the carton of milk, or the carton of milk is heavier than the loaf of bread. When we're looking at this balance scale now, we have a toothbrush and we want to see what is it as heavy as. So in this case, each clothespin stands for one unit. And if we were to count all the clothespins here, we will have 12 units. So we can see that the arrow is in the center here, that the mass of the toothbrush is 12 units. Now here we change it up a little bit. We keep the toothbrush, but we change it to marbles. And now each marble stands for one unit. And we can see the toothbrush is just as heavy as 10 marbles. The mass of the toothbrush is 10 units. So which is greater, the number of clothespin units or the number of marble units? Well, the marble units will have a greater mass than one clothespin unit. So we can say that the clothespin is lighter than a marble because you need 12 clothespins to have the mass of the toothbrush to be as heavy as those 12 clothespins versus 10 marbles to be the mass of the toothbrush. Let's look at measuring mass in kilograms. The kilogram is a unit of mass. We can also abbreviate kilogram by writing kg. And in this, this boy is holding an actual weight of one kilogram in his hand. And when you're looking at how heavy it is, let's look at this balance scale now. The mass of the book is less than one kilogram. You could see that it's less than. So it's lighter than one kilogram because the one kilogram comes down further. 
Now, when you're looking at this duffel bag, it's not a really great picture of a bag, but the bag has a mass greater than the one kilogram. You can see it's going down and you can see the arrow is going this way. So it's heavier than one kilogram. Now the question is, is the bag heavier or lighter than the book? Well, we can conclude that the bag is heavier than the book because the bag is greater than one kilogram, where the book is lighter than one kilogram. So in comparing the two, the bag would be heavier. So let's really look at measuring mass in kilograms. The kilogram and the gram are a measure of mass, not weight. We often use terms of mass and weight and interchangeably in our daily speech. But to scientists, they are very, they're very different. The mass of a body is determined by how much matter it contains. So mass is measured by how much force is needed to get it from moving from a resting position or stop it once it's moving. So think back to that swing. The adult, it was harder to push the adult from the resting position or stopping the adult once it was moving because it had a greater mass. A one kilogram mass on Earth would weigh less on the moon, but it would still have the same mass. So if you were to travel to the moon, you know that you would float, right? but your mass would be the same on the moon. Many of you are wondering why. Well, your weight is, the reason that your weight is less on the moon is because there's less of a gravitational pull on the moon than on the earth. I also like to have a point of reference. I can use to estimate whether something has a mass of more than, less than, or about one kilogram. So today I want you to think about if you have two soccer balls, I want you to grab two soccer balls and realize that that's about one kilogram. Or maybe you have 10 medium-sized apples and carry those and that would be about one kilogram. Or two cans of soup. Or you could, if you can find one liter of seltzer, make sure it's filled up, not empty, and that will also weigh one kilogram. This is a good point of reference. So today I want you to have fun and walk around the house. Find one of these things to feel what does one kilogram feel like, and then walk around your house and pick up different objects and compare it to one kilogram. Is it more than, less than, or about one kilogram? And try to make some estimations. And if you want to record them, we would love to see what you can do with that and talk about all the different objects around your house. So this is optional, but it's a really great exercise for you to walk around and see what is one kilogram, since we're not in class to do that. I want us to also look at these pictures. Here we have a digital scale. So we have this package is four kilograms and this package is six kilograms. Which package is heavier? Well, the purple package has a greater mass of six kilograms. How much heavier? You will compare them. So you would take six kilograms minus four kilograms, which is two kilograms. Then it asks, what is the total mass of the two packages? You just need to add six kilograms plus four kilograms, which is 10 kilograms. Look at number seven, look at the pictures, see what you notice, and then we'll look at the questions together. Okay, so we have three different toolboxes, A, B, and C. Which toolbox is the heaviest? Well, when you're looking at the digital scale, we could see this is tw oops, sorry, 21 kilograms. Which toolbox is lightest? We could tell that toolbox B is lightest at nine kilograms. Now they're asking, what is the total mass of the three toolboxes? You can pause the video and try to figure it out and think of your mental math strategies to help you add 15 kilograms plus nine kilograms plus 21 kilograms. Think of those friendly numbers. Okay, so if you unpaused, you're wondering what is the total mass? And the total mass is 45 kilograms for all three toolboxes. Now I want you to have a piece of paper and a pencil next to you, and I want you to draw a bar model to solve this problem. 
I will read the problem and then I will ask you to pause the video so that you can solve it and then we'll look at the answers together. Raj has a mass of 39 kilograms. His father is 28 kilograms heavier than he is. Find the mass of Raj's father. So please pause the video, draw your bar model, it is a comparison bar model, and show us all your work and your answer statement. Okay, so now you have unpaused the video, and I just want to make it clear this is not a bar model, this is a text box that went wrong, so just ignore that box around it. Okay, so we know that Raj's mass is 39 kilograms. Raj's father, we don't know how many, how what his mass is, but we know his mass is 28 kilograms larger. So that's why we have a larger bar for Raj's father. When you're doing this, because we have a bigger bar than Raj, we know we need a bigger number, so we're going to add. 39 kilograms plus 28 kilograms equals 67. So the mass of Raj's father is 67 kilograms. Again, this is just a text box. Okay, let's go back now. Let's try it again for another problem. The mass of a sheep is 262 kilograms. The mass of a goat is 129 kilograms. How much lighter is the goat than the sheep? Pause the video. Draw a bar model, label everything, show your work, and write an answer statement, and we'll look at the answers together. Okay, so now if you unpause the video, you're ready for the answer. The sheep is 262 kilograms, and the mass of the goat is 129 kilograms. So I made my bar bigger for my sheep than my goat. They want to know the difference between the mass of the goat and the sheep, so this is my difference. I need a smaller number, so that's why I'm subtracting. 262 kilograms minus 129 kilograms equals 133 kilograms. The goat is 133 kilograms lighter than the sheep. You always want to look back into your um, question to make sure that you're answering the question correctly, and I did. I made sure I answered that it's 130, the goat is 133 kilograms lighter than the sheep. Okay, so for later, you're going to complete three work pages, page six, seven, and 10. I'll show you what they look like, but they, um, we will also have um, the printouts for you to download and write and take a picture if you like, or you could just copy and paste for your slideshow. So here, you're not going to actually write the, the masses, but you're going to write heavier than, lighter than, or as heavy as. Notice then when you're comparing, it's A-N, not E-N. Okay, so when you're looking at the socks to the juice box, look at the arrow here so that you can see, is the pair of socks heavier than, lighter than, or as heavy as? Again, look at the arrows to help you to write those answers. Here, the marble is one unit, so you will have to count up the marbles to see what sack A weighs. So find out sack A, sack B, sack C, all the different units, and then also follow, answer the following questions, D and E. Last, we're looking at a digital scale. You could see the weight here. This one's a little bit harder to read, possibly. It's 11 kilograms. So answer the questions. And for number four, please look carefully and draw your bar models to answer the question, show your work, and then write an answer statement. Again, you can copy and paste these into your new April e-learning, or you can um, print out do the work, and then insert the picture in your slideshow, whichever one works better for you. If you're going to copy and paste, just use your text boxes to fill in your answers. Okay, I hope today was a good, quick introduction to show you math, and we're going to continue this the next few weeks and practice and look at different pictures and different word problems. Have a good day.